a new physics experiment that aims to answer questions about how the universe came into existence is being planned right in our own backyard. Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenick went to Fermilab to learn more about the big news behind the world's smallest particles. They're called neutrinos, the most abundant particles produced by the universe. In fact, at any given time, trillions of them run through your body. But surprisingly, scientists don't know much about them. To take a closer look at these tiny particles, they actually have to be sent far away. That's just what those at Fermilab in Batavia are working to do. We've selected a site at the Sanford Underground Research Facility in Leeds, South Dakota, which is about 800 miles from Fermilab. And we want to uh, use that longer baseline to study additional properties of neutrinos. And so we will be building a new neutrino beam at Fermilab and then travel uh, virtually at the speed of light, almost, not quite, to South Dakota, at, at which point the neutrinos will interact in the argon and the resulting interactions will be read out into data. The new project would be an expansion of an existing experiment in place at Fermilab in which neutrinos are produced and sent directly through the Earth to Minnesota. To understand the science behind this, I went 350 feet underground at a facility called Minos to literally get to the core of the experiment. Here, scientists produce the neutrinos and send them across multiple platforms to see how they react to different elements they come into contact with, all in an effort to understand what role they play in the universe could be one of the fundamental things that are help explain the difference between the amount of matter, matter and antimatter in the universe. But we also think it can help us understand more about what happened during the Big Bang. Neutrinos play a fundamental role in the formation of stars and when supernovas uh, go off. And so that can also then help us extrapolate back to the Big Bang and understand more about the, the beginnings of the universe. But some might wonder why send them to South Dakota if they're already going to Minnesota? The answer lies in the fraction of a second it takes to make the journey. We can look at different properties in the neutrinos than we are able to um, with the baseline that we are currently using. And we can also uh, build a larger detector there out of liquid argon to be able to explore the properties more deeply. Funding for the proposed experiment is still being secured. Some will come from the Department of Energy, and Fermilab is hopeful the rest can be acquired from international sources. Those funds would help cover the construction of four buildings, a 58-foot-high hill, and a 680-foot tunnel on the Fermilab site, in addition to the construction in South Dakota. All this is expected to take about 11 years to build. Reporting from Fermilab, I'm Melissa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. The time and money already put into this research has proved to be well spent. Fermilab recently set a new world record for the most powerful high-energy particle beam for a neutrino experiment at 521 kilowatts.